Hi, Year 7, it's Mrs. Dobson here. I'm just going to quickly show you how we're going to posterize our images for our first pop art task this term. So there are a couple of steps that you need to do. We used to do this on Photoshop, but it's super complicated and I think this is going to be a lot easier for you. So the first thing you'll need to do, hop on iLearn, find the link to this website. This website is called Posterize, um, sorry, it's called Pine Tools, and then the tool that we are using is Posterizing. Um, the link is up here, but you can just click on that on iLearn or even Google Posterize Image Online. The first thing you're going to want to do is you are going to need to upload an image so that you remember you are creating a portrait this term. And a portrait is a picture of someone's face and typically inclusive of their shoulders as well. So you need to, first of all, find a high quality image. So I'm going to find mine on Google. Now, you're more than welcome to pick whoever you want. It can be a celebrity. It can be someone influential in your life. It could be a family member. You can even do a self-portrait. You just need to double check with your teacher before you pick your person. If you're picking a family member, make sure you can... Make sure you are finding a high quality photograph, all right? And I'm gonna show you how to find a high quality photograph on your computer. So I have just decided I'm going to pick Mr. Beast as the person that I am going to do my portrait of. We're gonna to go to Google Images. We're then going to go into Tools and we wanna make sure the size is large. This makes sure it's gonna be a nice big image that is high quality and I have all these lovely images to choose from. Um, let me have a little scroll. This one looks like it's pretty good quality. Make sure you don't drag the small thumbnail. What you want is you want to click on it so you get the nice large high quality image. You then just simply drag it to your desktop and what I do is I like to rename it so that we actually have a really nice name because it's easy to find again. So to do that, you just hit return on your keyboard when your photo is selected. I'm just going to call it exactly what it is. It's a picture of Mr. Beast planting some trees. Then we're going to go back to our posterized website, hit choose file. We're then going to find our image, which is right here, hit open. And now we have some options for how we want it to come out once it's posterized. Posterizing means it's looking at the number of colors and it's turning it into an almost comic book, pop art kind of style. And we want some really clear sections. So I want you to pick between the numbers four to seven. You can choose. I'm going to start with number four and just see what it looks like. Hit posterize. And down here is the image that we have the option of downloading. I'm going to have a look at the other ones, see which one I like best. What you're looking for is some really clear sections of color. So when I zoom in here on seven, you have to use these little tools to move it around. You can see that we have these little areas and we are actually going to paint inside of these small sections of block color. Now, I think this might not be enough. So let's go back to seven and have a look. I think this might be a good sweet spot, number six. Let me just go back to five one more time, just to double check. Zooming in. Yeah, I think six is probably the go because five, we have maybe a few too many sections that might just make it a bit trickier to paint. Have one more look. Yeah, six is great. And we are going to be painting a picture of him around about this size. So we need to download this JPEG, ready to send to our teacher, drag it back to your desktop, and now you can hit space bar and just double check what it looks like. I'm gonna call it Mr. Beast Posterized, because there is one more step to do. The next thing we're going to do is we're gonna come over to the left side of the website and go down to the grayscale image, because this can get quite confusing if the picture isn't black and white. There are too many colors. When we go to actually change the colors on our paintings, it can confuse our brains a little bit. So we're gonna make it nice and simple and only look at it in black and white so we don't get too confused. So choose image, scroll down to the one you've saved. Mine is Mr. Beast posterized, open it up. Don't do it to your unedited image. You really wanna make sure you're doing it to your nice posterized image. And all you need to do then is hit apply. And now we got it posterized and black and white. Drag this to your desktop again and go, Mr. 
face. And I'm just going to call it edited. So I know it's the one. And at the end, I'm just going to put my initials. So I am JD for Jade Dobson. So I, as your teacher, when you send this to me, will know who it belongs to. Then go ahead and either throw it in the email and send it to myself or Miss Johnson and Miss Manning or pop it on Ireland where we have asked you to do so. Anyway, I hope that really helps you guys. This is the final image you are after. You want to make sure it's clear, so make sure it's a nice large image. You want to make sure that it's posterized with nice areas that are nice and clean that you are going to paint different block colors in. And then you want to make sure it's black and white. And if you've got all those things done, you are finished. Well done.